I don't know. It's just it's. I, I think the thing to 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 talk about more than anything else is the tone shift, because yeah. Tom McLaughlin, the the writer, when he was asked if he wanted to do the movie, he had never seen a Friday the Thirteenth, or maybe he had seen like one of them, and oh. so he had he went over to Paramount and he watched all five of the previous ones, and he came out and he said, "I'll do it, but can I make it funny?" And they said, because huh. he said at this point, it's like, it's kind of the only way to go is to is to make it kind of a send up. Yeah. And the they said, you can make it funny as long as you don't make Jason funny and you don't make fun of Jason because Jason has to remain serious, which I think is a, a good call. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know if the uh, this tone just does not work for me. It's too silly. Like it, it swings <laughs> wildly from like. Warner Brothers cartoon on one end to uh, serious, serious murder scenes on the other side. And I just do not feel like it ever really clicks. So uh, my opinion might be colored by the fact that when I watched this, I think I was on my third beer. (laughs) I mean, that's probably how you should be watching these regardless. And that's probably the mistake I'm making. That might be it because like, to be honest, I enjoyed this one. I yeah. thought this one was ridiculous and fun. Um, I think I think the thing I appreciated about this tonally, even though I, I totally agree that it swings pretty wildly and can't really find a balance between the comedy and then the more serious scenes. Um, but the thing I appreciated about this one... I feel like it took a step back from the nastiness Mm. that had been kind of building over the last, like, two installments where we were just getting deeper and deeper down this track where characters were set up to be so repulsive to you as an audience member Mm -hmm. that when Jason kills them, you're kind of... It was that whole thing we talked about where it's, like, combination of, like, it makes you root for them to die and then makes you, like feel bad that you rooted for them to die but they still sucked right, <laughs> and were right. like miserable people to have to sit and watch them walk around their weird farm shack convenience store for 15 full minutes of a 90 mm-hmm. minute movie um i think this movie does a better job of presenting you with maybe not the deepest <laughs> most well characterized characters but at least some people you can kind of connect with a little bit. Like, I, I think the sheriff's an interesting case where he, he is this kind of, like, c- caricature of a small town sheriff. But at the same time, his care for his daughter feels really genuine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, like, when he gets to the camp and the kids are there, he seems really, like, actually, like, he wants to protect these kids. And, like, I don't know. Just, I, I didn't have the same immediate visceral, like, ugh reaction to everybody who came on screen 